grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. At the, towards the end of the Mass, the sisters will be de- making their dedication to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. It's an annual thing they do on this great feast. It is their great feast today. So we pour, pray for them during the Mass, and we ask the Lord to help us that we too will honour the Blessed Virgin Mary with love and care. So we say together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Yes. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who prepared a fit dwelling place for the Holy Spirit in the heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, graciously grant that through her intercession we may be worthy temple of your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives in the reign to the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Their race will be famous throughout the nations, their descendants throughout the peoples. All who see them will admit that they are a race whom the Lord has blessed. I exult for joy in the Lord. My soul rejoices in the Lord, in my God. For he has clothed me in the garments of salvation. He has wrapped me in the cloth of integrity, like a bridegroom wearing his wreath, like a bride adorned in her jewels. For as the earth makes fresh things grow, as a garden makes seeds spring up, so will the Lord make both integrity and praise spring up in the sight of the nations. The word of the Lord. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Saviour. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Saviour. My heart exalts in the Lord. I find my strength in my God. My mouth laughs at my enemies as I rejoice in you, your saving help. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Saviour. The bowels of the mighty are broken. 
but the weak are clothed with strength. Those with plenty must labor for bread, but the hungry need work no more. The childless wife has children now, but the fruitful wife bears no more. My heart tells the Lord my it is the Lord who gives life and death. He brings men to the grave and back. It is the Lord who gives poverty and riches. He brings men low and raises them on high. My heart tells the Lord my he lifts up the lowly from the dust. From the dung heap he raises the poor to set them in the company of princes, to give them a glorious throne. The Lord be with you. The reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Every year the parents of Jesus used to go to Jerusalem for the feast of the Passover. When he was 12 years old, they went up for the feast as usual. When they were on their way home after the feast, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem without his parents knowing it. They assumed he was with the caravan, and it was only after a day's journey that they went back to look for him among their relations and acquaintances. When they failed to find him, they went back to Jerusalem, looking for him everywhere. Three days later, they found him in the temple, sitting among the doctors, listening to them, asking them questions. And all those who heard him were astounded at his intelligence and his replies. They were overcome when they saw him. And his mother said to him, My child, why have you done this to us? See how worried your father and I have been looking for you. Why were you looking for me? He replied. Did you not know that I must be busy with my father's affairs? But they did not understand what he meant. He then went down with them and came to Nazareth and lived under their authority. His mother stored up all these things in her heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Mary stored up all these things and pondered them in her heart. Mary, we celebrate the feast, the Immaculate Heart of Mary, letting us all know that she cares and loves each and every one of us, and no doubt ponders in our heart of how we each will return that love to her son Jesus. Mary played such an important role in the foundation of the Christian message. She was there all the time with Jesus, right throughout his life. Right to the time when she stood at the the cross after witnessing, watching 
the way she, he was treated. And then they brought bid the Jesus down and placed him in the arms of Mary before they buried him. But Mary, deep down, knew he would be with her again. And of course, after the resurrection, he appeared to her and the apostles. He had given the, the position of Mary in our world to be the mother of us all when she said at the, on the cross, Mother, this is your son. And to St. John, this is your mother. In other words, this is our mother. And we celebrate a feast with great love. And we think of all the different religious orders that are named after the Immaculate Heart of Mary and pray that they will grow from strength to strength and continue the great work they do for mankind all over the world. We have them here at St. Michael's and they're all over Britain in different convents and different parishes working trying to show the love of Mary to us all. So let us pray for them and ask the Lord to help them in their work that they continue with the role that they have of being mothers in their own right and caring for the communities they care for. So we stand now, please. We turn to our Father and ask him to help and support us in our trials and give meaning to what we face. Mary, welcome God's word and we pray that it may take deeper root in the hearts of Christians, Lord, in your mercy. And we pray for the sisters that work with us and have done for quite a lot, many years. We remember especially the sisters, Sister Ethel Christie, Sister Ugo, Sister Monica, and Sister Margaret, for whom this Mass has been offered. Lord, in your mercy. Mary heard the word of God and we pray that civil authorities and those at war may hear God's word of peace and justice. Lord, in your mercy. Mary pondered the word of God in our heart. We pray for theologians and preachers that they may bring the message of God alive today. Lord, in your mercy. And Mary did the work of God and was happy to be his slave. We pray that we may put into practice the saving word that we hear. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for the Lobo family. We pray too for Oscar, who is still ill in the hospital. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for the repose of the soul of Mary Morgan, the sister-in-law of the fam Morgan family. Lord, in, uh, we pray for her because she, has passed, she died yesterday. So pray for her, the repose of her soul, and ask the Lord to welcome her into his kingdom. Lord, in your mercy. And we ask Mary to help us and to pray for us as we say together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Father in heaven, we thank you for the, your plan of love for us. May the Mary, the Mother of Jesus, through the Holy Spirit, reveal her Son to us. May Jesus lead us to know Mary's motherly care for us all. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed be Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread, we offer your fruit to the earth, work of human hands, it will become the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine. We offer you fruit to the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash us, O Lord, from our My friends, pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look, O Lord, upon the prayers and offerings of your faithful, presented in commemoration of the Blessed Mary, the Mother of God, that they may be pleasing to you and may confer on us your help and forgiveness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on this in veneration of the Blessed Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim Worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the heavens. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the heavens. Rightly gives you praise, for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ.
Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. But on the night he betrayed, he himself took bread and given you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
receive his command and form by divine teaching, we pray. Our Father, hallowed be thy name. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil grace to grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that ye should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. An act of spiritual communion with those who've joined us online, Lord Jesus. We believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. We love you above all things and we desire to receive into our souls. Since we cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into our hearts. We embrace you as you are already there and unite ourselves wholly to you. Never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. Mary Church treasured all these words, reflecting on them in her heart.
of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We now ask the two sisters to come forward, please, to renew their vows. I think you'll have a copy of what they're going to say. <laughs> <laughs> 